Okay, <clears throat> so I know I'm really, really, really late for this review, and I I apologize, but the only reason why I'm reviewing it, I'm still reviewing it, is because um, this is considered one of the WWE's um, better pay-per-views in a long time, and I have to admit, I mean, like, usually I don't watch pay-per-views, I just read up, I just review the results because I don't actually pay for the pay-per-views. Uh, it's, I, I don't really like paying for pay-per-views, but um, I was in the Philippines when this came out, and in the Philippines, um, there's a channel for the pay-per-view, so you actually don't have to pay for the pay-per-views. It's like on free TV. So uh, very luckily, I was able to watch the the pay-per-view, and um, let's see. So I'm just gonna re review the results, and I'm gonna. For the first time, I'm actually going to review what I saw. Uh, okay, I'm going to skip the dark match result. It's pointless. Okay, first match was the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. And I have a piece of paper. That's what I'm looking at. Um, this first match was the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. And when I was watching this, it was I only caught the very end where Daniel Bryan's holding the um, the blue briefcase uh, uh, to everyone. So I, 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 this, I actually didn't... I don't really know what happened in the match, but what I heard was Sin Cara got injured. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm going off topic a little bit. Um, Sin Cara. Um, what do I think of this man? Like, I, I, I should have posted a review of the of him because he's like he's the newest addition to WWE. But Sin Cara, I mean, like a lot of people have been on him because he botches. And um, there was that infamous clip of him with Chavo. It was like that was really bad. But um, for me, I'm not. I'm not totally. I I still think he has a chance to like. Um, I still think he has a chance to establish his, himself. I mean, like, yeah, he had a rocky start, but and he had that that the the well that I don't remember what it's called, but he had like he had a. Um, a fault with the wellness something I forgot the name of the plan but um, I think he, he can still he, he can still try to he, he can still be accepted by the crowd I mean like he I mean he's if you see his match his match with Evan Bourne I mean like it was, it was very entertaining so I mean this guy is not like I can't really come up with the words it's like I'm just gonna continue. I'm just um, bottom line is I I don't think Sin Cara is totally out of the game yet. But anyways, um, um, I, okay. I totally skipped over the Daniel Bryan winning part. But so Daniel Bryan winning, not I did not ex expect that. Like when I looked at this like months ago, I honestly thought um, I honestly thought Wade Barrett was gonna win this. Ma mainly because they keep trying to push this guy into winning the the big title. I mean, he he extremely failed to do that in Raw. So I figured that he might have a chance with SmackDown, since in my opinion, the World Heavyweight Championship is not as prestigious as the WWE Championship. So I think he had a he he could have been pushed into getting that title, but. Then again, giving it to Daniel Bryan, I mean, like, I'm, uh, that makes sense. I mean, I'm totally not against it. I mean, like, I'm totally for him winning the title, but it's just, WWE really, really killed him. I mean, like, with, he has that 0 to 18, um, 0 and 18 win loss record on NXT. I mean, I mean, I know what he's done in the past, I know what he's done in Ring of Honor, but it's really hard to take a guy like this seriously in the WWE his character I mean like him winning the big title fairly I mean like he, I know he wants to cash it in in WrestleMania 28 so him winning the title fairly against against one of the big stars I mean it it's either they push him very correctly until next year that's the only way that I can actually see him winning the the world heavyweight championship otherwise uh, they could turn him heel and turn back on his word and just do whatever, do what every um, Money in the Bank um, winner has done. You know, like, 
cash it in on a very weak opponent. So, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of don't... S uh, I don't want to say that Daniel Bryan's going to be the first person to lose with the Money in the Bank briefcase, but uh, it's just really hard for me to see him winning the big title fairly. Okay, next match. Next match was the garbage match. Kelly Kelly versus the Bellas. Well, Brie Bella. And I don't understand why it's Brie Bella and not Nikki Bella. I mean... No, I just don't... I just don't understand why giving the belt uh, to Brie Bella. I mean, like... They're twin sisters, so... Okay, I'm making too much a big deal. But anyways. So Kelly Kelly... Um, the... the fan, um, kept her championship. I mean, she she defeated Brie, and yeah, this match actually when I was watching in the Philippines, um, I kept switching between ta channels because at that time I was actually trying to find um, the next episode of Being Human, but I could not find it, so I kept switching between channels, but anyways. So I, didn't, I don't really know what happened in this match, except I, I think I saw Brie switch with Nikki. And they do that all the time, so it's, it's not a big, it's not a big, um, um, it's not a big development, whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> next match was Mark Henry versus Big Show. I actually saw the entirety of this match, and it was, if I had seen the whole Divas match, I would probably call that the worst match, but, um, this is the worst match I saw. Mainly because I have, I'm just gonna come out with it. Mark Henry and Big Show cannot freaking wrestle. I mean, Mark Henry is very very slow, and Big Show. Well, he's they're both very slow in general. I mean, like there nothing really happened happened in Smash. I mean, like there were a few clothes lines, and I I, I know like Mark Henry got shoved into like the steel steps. And by the way, if you look carefully, it it doesn't look like he got tossed into the steps. He sort of ran into it and tripped over it, which looks to me it looked very obvious he tripped over it. But anyways, um, um, this was not a good match. I mean, like, it was boring. It was slow and like, okay, I was I was surprised at the at the result. I thought Big Show was gonna win, but overall, it was not a very good match and. But the ending where like Mark Henry like crushes Big Show's foot by jump by jumping off the turnbuckle into the chair. Um not so sure, sure to make of that. I mean like that looked like it hurt actually when I when I looked at it. Um so I don't know if it's I know like Big Show's like really he really has like a foot injury, so yeah, him taking that chair, him taking that on his foot. Ow. But anyways, I'm gonna skip forward. Um, next match was Alberto Del Rio winning the Raw Money in the Bank ladder match, and um, I watched this entire match in uh, this match in its entirety. And let's see, what what can I say about this? When I was watching this, my cousins actually predicted a Rey Mysterio victory, but um, Alberto winning that was that was too obvious. I mean, like they are really trying to push this guy. Like they were really trying to push. They are really trying to push Alberto to be the next um, to be a next champion. And I mean, he won the Royal Rumble. He's won first uh, number one contender, and now he's won Money in the Bank. I mean, like. They're giving, I mean, this is like, I'd say this is like his final chance to get the championship. I mean, like, if if he doesn't win the championship with with the Money in the Bank briefcase, that's embarrassing. Like, no one has lost until this point, and since he's a heel, he's probably just gonna cash it in on a weak opponent. So, if he doesn't win the t the title now with the briefcase, it, this is gonna be really bad for him. He's gonna look very weak, but anyways, um, getting off of uh, Del Rio, the match was pretty good actually. Um, with these many guys, it's very easy to get scrat scat 
Oh, I'm sorry. It's very easy to get scrambled, like, in the, the whole mess, but it was actually kind of very tight when I think about it. Uh, I, I like this. I like there, there's, like, a certain part where it was, like, a spot fest. Like, I remember Evan Bourne did, a, did an airborne off a ladder into, the, into, like, a crowd of guys. And also, um, Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne, they jumped into the crowd. Or was it Kofi Ray? I don't, I don't remember, but there was a, there was a cool spot fest, like, somewhere in there. And also, um, uh, The Miz, I think he legitimately got injured. Because when I saw this, he fell off the ladder, and, like, he got pushed off the ladder, like, when he was on top, and he landed on his leg, and it looked like it, it actually, like, fractured. I mean, they had to take him out, like, it like Sin Cara, but it looked, it looked like it really hurt. But anyways, um, definitely getting off of The Miz, um, it's not much to really comment on in the match. Um, I think I saw a botch in there, because I remember Alberto was on the ladder, was on the ladder, he was about to reach it, and his ladder kept falling, and it looked like if he was supposed to just reach up and grab the briefcase, but the ladder kept falling, like, I don't think he intended the ladder to just keep falling, so... It was kind of funny looking, actually, him just trying to keep the bladder balanced and the ladder just kept falling. Um, okay, I'm gonna skip forward, anyways. <clears throat> okay, the last two matches, the, the world title matches. There's no, there was no Intercontinental or United States Championship defense. I was kind of disappointed, but anyways. Um, the first match, the World Heavyweight Championship match. <clears throat> the... So in this match, it's Christian versus Randy Orton. Uh, the stipulations are, um, if Orton gets disqualified or if the referee makes a bad call, um, Christian will win the title. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make, uh, talk about the bad call part, because I could go on forever with that one. But anyways, Christian defeated Randy Orton by disqualification, because in the match, it, it was actually very even in the beginning, like they kept... It, 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 it was very seesaw in the beginning, but then near the end, it, it really looked like Randy Orton was about to, um, was about, was, he was just, like, dominating him near the end. And near the end, so, like, Christian is backed up into the turnbuckle, buckle, and Randy Orton, he's all up in his face, like, Christian, what are you gonna do? And Christian just spits in his face, and Randy, he just flips out, and he hits him with a low blow. Christian... I mean, Randy Orton is disqualified, and Christian wins the title. And then at that point, Randy Orton just goes nuts. But it doesn't matter. I mean, Christian's still the champion. In this match, it was okay. I mean, it, it wasn't a really a pay-per-view pay match, but um, at least they finally got the belt off of Randy and they gave it back to Christian because um, this really was his last, like, like how many times he's tried? Um... He had the rematch at, um, what was it? He had the rematch, what was it called? I forgot the name of the, the pay-per-view. I think it was Over the Limit? But anyways, he had the rematch when he was a uh, face. He had another match at Capital Punishment. So this was his third time trying to get the title.